Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm a base student from South Africa and I'm here to talk to you about herding in an abattoir. Now herding is a very, very important concept. Um, the animals, and there's a few things you need to remember about the animals. They are living, breathing creatures. So the animals must always be handled calmly and humanely and do not hit or shout them. That's not cool. Um, potters must be battery operated and may not be used when animals are already moving forward, maybe only when they're standing still. Use of a potter in abattoirs must be discouraged, encouraging the use of alternative types of driving aids. Driving aids. Um, so there's this woman called Campbell Grandin. She's got a very good website. You might want to Google her. She's very good at what she does. Um, <clears throat> so alternatives to potters, you can use a rattle paddle or livestock sorting paddle. And this is used to herd animals. Steel balls in paddle allow handlers um, to move the animals by only sound and not by hurting them. So you get automated gates as well. Um, slowly move animals into the sunning pen. No stress screening pigs. Slowly. Nicely. Um, if they are stressed, they get P PSE, also known as soft exudative meat. You do not want this. Um, you can't, a lot of those carcasses get condemned. That's why you have to ensure the animals are stress-free. There's white passages, crushing or races um, are better for pigs. Um, remember, pigs are the type of animal that move better in groups than alone. So you would want to move them from place to place in a group instead of single file. And yeah, that's pretty much basic herding um, things you need to know if you have an abattoir or want to have an abattoir. Now remember, there is anti-mortem inspections as well, and um, <clears throat> different services, and that I will cover in the next video.